and I am talking to Larry Sinclair, and if uh, you don't mind, I am recording now. Okay. And, uh, well, first of all, Mr. Sinclair, um, you're running for Congress in District 24, and uh, you're an unaffiliated candidate. Tell me what it is that distracts you to this race. Last August, I called Representative Cosmos Port Orange office and asked if she was going to hold town hall meetings on health care reform. And the lady said that she was not, that she couldn't, um, logistically they couldn't do it, the district was too big, she didn't have the time, and when I wrote, tried to get her to repeat it, I explained I wanted to get the quote correctly, and she asked me, well, who, where are you printing this? And I said, on the internet, and she slammed the phone down. So then the next day I found out that Cosmos was attending a fundraiser with Grayson and uh, Biden on the 19th of August, which I went out to to protest. I just thought it was interesting that somebody with 10 plus million dollars doesn't feel like, you know, she has to answer to the people of the district. Okay, and uh, specifically, what kind of things uh, do you want to see done in Congress that are not being done now? Well, I think people, it's, it's like I had told someone back in August, everybody's yelling about health care reform, and everybody's ignoring the fact that the majority of Obamacare will be adding people to Medicaid. And in Central Florida alone, you have a large number of Medicaid patients that can't get treated because doctors won't accept it. They have to travel out of county. For instance, here in Volusia County alone, if you are a Medicaid patient and you need an orthopedic surgeon, do you understand that you have to go to Miami to be seen? I mean, they need to be a little more honest. You can't put 30 million people on Medicaid and tell the state, okay, cover it, and tell people they have health coverage. It's not going to work. You need people in Congress. And, um, obviously, there's a lot of other stuff that that's interesting about your uh, about your candidacy, um, and obviously attracted a lot of attention from the people on the internet. Um, first of all, you, you have a criminal record, and you're not shy about that, right? No, I'm not shy. I mean, I love your take on the old Nixon line. I am not a crook. Um, I'm not now. I was. I, I'm not. Like I said, I don't run from my past. I don't hide from it. Okay, I, I noticed that there uh, is. Uh, some of the people who are commenting on the story pointed out there is a warrant in Colorado. What's up with that? There is a warrant out of Colorado. It's been no secret. It's been advertised by these people for two plus years. I spoke with the assistant district attorney who was assigned to that case by the name of Jim Corsi during 2008 presidential campaign for six plus months and was instructed by Mr. Corsi not to waste the expense of traveling to Colorado that he was in the process of dismissing it. Now apparently it had not been dismissed because the DA, uh, Bill Tebow, is actually an, an a possible appointee for the U.S. Attorney in Colorado um, in the Obama administration. So it's been played for political purposes, but... claims about that, and uh, without getting too much into it, you, your claim is that you uh, had sex with them at one point in the late 90s, uh, but then also I see that um, on your website there's some, some action by Secret Service against you? What's going on with that? Well, it's not so much against me. The U.S. Secret Service out of Jacksonville, Agent Keller and Andrews, came to my home, asked to speak with me. I invited them in. I spoke with them. Um, I guess people, the same people that you see the comments on your on your blog had been sending the U.S. Secret Service all kinds of accusations and things. I'm a very blunt person. I say what I think. Um, people have alleged that I've threatened the President and the First Lady. I have not done that. I have put some very controversial photos and faxed them to the White House and asked if this is what, you know, Donald Young looked like. Um, but uh, that's pretty much what it was. It was simply an interview to determine that I had not threatened, and they determined that I had not. And uh, I think uh, some of the commenters also said something about you uh, sending letters to the, the daughters of President Obama. Okay. That is a total misrepresentation. I don't know if you remember, but in the 2008 presidential campaign, the New York Times did a hit piece on Cindy McCain where the reporter had contacted the McCain's minor daughter and a 15-year-old friend of hers that was a friend on Facebook. 
asking questions about Cindy McCain's mother skills and if you ever saw her taking drugs. I had posted a response to that on the internet and had made the statement, why don't you see people emailing uh, the Obama daughters? I have never attempted to email them. These people continue to twist things to, to their advantage, but that's fine. All right, so um, I, it's part of the whole thing is that you have a you have a criminal past and you're honest about that. Uh, and all of that stuff behind you, I mean, are you still using cocaine or any of that kind of stuff? No, I'm not. And, you know, I've passed drug tests. I mean, people accuse me of all kinds of things, but they do so based behind screen names and behind anonymous. You know, I just finished an, another investigation with Social Security. In the last two years, I have undergone and submitted to seven different state and federal investigations over internet thugs making false reports repeatedly because they think they're going to get me at something. Uh, I have nothing to hide. I'm as clean as clean can be and in debt up to my ears behind this book. Yeah, and and um, what's up with these, um, these websites that are going to be just set up to pretty much uh, attack you? Uh, are these people who are upset about your uh, Obama comments, or where did this all start? Actually, these websites started up in February of 2008, and they have been nonstop. These people, are, it, it's almost like it's their, their job or their livelihood. My mother, my 69-year-old mother has been attacked by them. They posted a photo of her in an online sex ad. Um, they've threatened to go to the public school of my minor nephews in South Carolina and instructed people to attack them. And then they get upset when I respond. So, I mean, it, it's interesting. People will attack when they think they're losing the argument. And these people have attacked from day one, and they don't stop attacking. But the funny thing is, is everything they accuse me of just falls... You know, it, it nothing sticks. Yeah. All right. Well, um, anything else you want to add? No, I mean, the thing about it, Mr. Hazen, is the voters in Central Florida can take someone that they know everything about. I will probably be the most vetted choice that any Central Florida voter in District 24 will have. I challenge any of the other ch candidates to come out and put their entire history out on the line. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Um, a lot of the, the posters, and I mean, I know you can't take everything they say for a uh, fact, but they're <laughs> saying that you run con jobs on them. Any idea where that comes from? Actually, I haven't run con jobs on anyone. What they're referring to is they have taken my criminal record and they have distorted it. The charges are theft, which was by check out of Dade County, unauthorized use of a financial transaction device, forgery. So what they do is they take these things and they say, oh, well, He's a fraud, so they accuse me of cons. Nobody, I've never been accused of running a con. I've never been charged with running a con. Um, I have no, I mean, you know, like I said, I've been called a pedophile by them too, but that's never the case. All oh, right, and uh, I guess I can go back to the, 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 the people on the internet who started these sites and all that stuff, but that started after you made the Obama claims, or was it beforehand, and if it was before the Obama claims, why did they start it? No, actually it started after. I originally posted the YouTube video on January 17th of 2008, and within one week's time, these people were all over the place. Like I said, it first started at Democratic Underground, then Daily Kos. It started uh, with a subsidiary site to the DNC, and then they just started uh, establishing their own websites through uh, proxy servers so that you couldn't find out exactly who operated and owned the site. Okay. And uh, just to, for your political philosophy, where do you stand? Liberal, uh, conservative, where are you? I've been a lifelong Democrat, but on social issues, even though I'm an openly gay male, I'm probably somewhat more conservative. Fiscally, I would say I'm conservative at this point because you definitely need to stop the spending. All right. Okay.